All right, so per a recommendation off of my site, um, I decided to do a video on creating cupcake wrappers. Uh, this is kind of something I just did this morning pretty quickly, um, but you can obviously use all of the techniques I've showed you in prior videos, such as changing the background to a fun comic. I'm still kind of debating on what I want to do there. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, let's just keep it at, at the blue. So um, this is what you're going to get, and I actually went through and did a lot of research. I downloaded probably 30 or 40 different cupcake wrapper templates off of the hundreds of thousands you can get online, and I found one that works pretty well. I um, printed this out and tried it around a couple different cupcakes, and I really like this word template uh, because you can really customize it. If you purchase cupcakes, they typically wrappers need to be a little bit bigger versus make the cupcakes from scratch. Um, they can be a little bit smaller and you can kind of make these any size that you want. You might have to do some additional little tweaking and cutting, um, but pretty easy to do. So when you actually have this, what you're going to do to create the wrappers is cut this directly in half and you will get two cupcake wrappers from this one file. Okay. So first thing we're going to go ahead and do is create a new blank document. And we're going to want to change the orientation to landscape. What we're going to do is insert a shape. And let's go ahead and insert an oval. And once we have that oval, we're just going to go ahead and click on Format Auto Shape to make it the right size. And we're going to click on our size, make it 6.04. And we're going to make the width 9.5. Now, this is a nice little trick if you're making something like cupcake toppers. Rather than sort of eyeballing where I've showed you in previous videos or use the rulers or grid lines, you can actually um, select three inches by three inches or two and a half inches by two and a half inches, depending on what punch you have. Um, so that's a nice little shortcut that I didn't show you in prior videos. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is insert another oval for the inside. And once again, we're going to right click and format auto shape. And we're going to make this 2.8, and we're going to make this 5.54. Okay. And let's go ahead and put that in the middle. And again, you can use your rulers and your grid lines to ensure that this donut hole is right in the middle. That looks about right. And next thing we're going to want to do is do a shape fill of that blue. From here, the first thing we're going to want to do is insert our picture, which is our super Cole. Uh, my son's name is Cole, so we're using, obviously, um, this for his birthday. And we're going to put this in front of text. And again, if you haven't seen my working with images video, you might want to take a look at that if you're a little confused on this part of the video. We're going to go ahead and rotate and flip vertical. And then we're going to go ahead and make this smaller. Now, this is, again, a PNG, so we have a translucent background. So we don't have sort of that white around the, the um, perimeter of the image. Okay. Now what we want to do is insert shape. And let's go ahead and insert this shape. And I think we... Oh, probably need to make that a little bit smaller. And we did a shape fill of a pattern, and that was gray. And we did that. And then we did another one of these. And we actually made this one yellow, I believe. So let's do a shape fill of yellow. Now all we did from here, and again, this should seem very, very familiar if you've watched my other videos is insert a text box. And let's go ahead and draw a text box. And let's say, birthday boy. Oopsies. Okay. And let's go ahead and click on home and change that line spacing because there's quite a bit of spacing. So line spacing options, make that zero, make that single. And let's go ahead and change this to bada boom. And let's change this to 25. Okay. We also want to format that text box because as you can see, it's a box with a border. So we, we want a no fill and we want a no outline because obviously we're using the um, stars, if you will, as, as the outline. And we want to make this centered. Okay. Now we have sort of that shadow layer 
let's go ahead and right click and click on copy. Okay. Now click outside because if you if you have that highlighted, you click inside, it's going to actually paste it inside that text box. And you could do control V or you can right click and click paste. And then you can just highlight that and make that red. And then you can use the arrow key to move it up. And you're done. And so now you have that nice um, uh, two different cupcake toppers with the birthday boy with the shading on the front and back. Again, how you're going to use this is you're going to go ahead and cut this down the center. You might have to do some additional cutting on the edges once you wrap it around, but you can work with it on that. Please, if you do like this video, go to DIY-PartyPlanning.com um, to take a look at other fun ideas that we've done. I have lots of information here about um, sort of examples of parties that we've thrown, uh, myself or some friends. If you are so inclined and any of these ads are interesting to you, please click on the advertisements. Uh, that is how I uh, do make money off of here. There are also a number of printables that you can download um, that I've created through Microsoft Word, as well as links to all my videos. Um, also, I have another website called DIY-BabyShower.com. Once again, if you find um, any of the ads interesting, please click on them. And or I have lots of printables that you can download and use, as well as lots and lots and lots of pictures of ideas for baby showers, themes, and uh, fun activities. Thanks so much. And if you did find this useful, please like it on YouTube. Uh, tell your friends and families. And again, please visit my websites. Thanks so much.